Hi everyone and welcome to the All Things ITSM Global Podcast. We're coming to you from BMC Gage in Las Vegas. I'm Kirsty McGowan, I'm here with Charlie Betts. Steve. Carlos Casanova. Kirsty. And now we're speaking with Geoffrey Gore from Column Technologies. Thank nice to me. have you on the podcast. Thank you. Welcome, Geoffrey. Hi, uh, so Geoffrey, it's uh, great to talk to you this morning. Um, I don't know if you had a chance to see any of the keynote, but I thought it was uh, really exciting to uh, hear about how digital transformation is proceeding through the industry and just adding value in uh, amazing new ways uh, throughout um, pretty much all of society. And my understanding is you're working with a variety of clients and uh, customers in their digital transformation journeys and um, uh, especially you're especially interested in um, uh, how the end user experiences yeah. this new uh, digital transformation. So what are you seeing uh, with your customers and out in the market right yeah, now? Yeah, it's a fantastic question. So really the interesting thing, um, in our opinion, in terms, of, in terms of the end user experience is that historically, IT has had to frame all of the services they provide from an IT-centric viewpoint. What's fundamentally different about the way technology is changing is that we now have to be more aligned with the user experience as the business user would see it, right? So if we want to have the benefits of collaboration or uh, a knowledge-centric viewpoint of, of data, so someone goes in and they actually start typing in a question that's providing them the correct answer right up, right up front, it has to all be aligned to the way that the business is thinking about the, you know, their questions. It's, it might be a different terminology, maybe a different categorization, something fundamentally different than what we're used to seeing in the IT, in the IT realm. Right, right. It's, we've come a long way from calling a help desk and having somebody, you know, talk to us about TCP IP yes, yeah. or hash tables or, <laughs> you know, I think it's one of the important uh, contributions and lasting contributions that IT service management has made, um, even, you know, as we start to look at, you know, ITIL and, you know, where it's going to go with mm -hmm. Agile and DevOps. Nevertheless, that orientation to this, the uh, user's moment of truth mm -hmm. yes. and the service that the IT is providing, that, that does not change. Yes. And, I mean, do you find that it's, you know, because in our personal lives, our social lives, you know, we kind of get that experience. It's, yes. you know, it's, a lot, it's much more gray than black and white anymore. Yes. And do you see that, they're, that we're kind of bringing that into, hey, this is how I live. You know, this is how I go onto you know, Amazon or you know, yes. Google and all these other sites. I don't want to see the separation. I want to be able to go to work and essentially almost be kind of at home. Yes. So is that, is that what you're seeing with yeah. your clients? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that the, there's one piece that often gets overlooked with us, and that is, you have to be really person profile aware right. when you do a deployment nowadays. So it matters that Jeff Gore is a manager. It matters that Jeff Gore is a part of this organization um, because when Jeff says that he's having an issue, whatever the issue may be, he can't connect to, to, connect to VPN, you need to, to, to yeah. fundamentally know all this information mm -hmm. about Jeff so, yes. that, so that we can align whatever the yeah. solution's gonna be to, mm -hmm. to him. And really that is the key um, issue we see with many of our deployments is that without having that person profile awareness, you would have to give a employee all sorts of different kinds of data and they really are going to have to go mine the knowledge content yep. themselves instead of being more prescriptive as to this is exactly what you're looking for, we know who you are, we know what you're asking, let's get you that right information at the right time. Yeah, I think the, the expectations of the people who are coming to, into the workforce now are completely different to those from, from 10 years ago because we're, we're looking at basically our digital natives now now coming into into the workforce and, and they're expecting things to just work because Absolutely. that's what they're used to. They're used to having this tablet basically yeah. attached to their hand since, mm -hmm. since they could uh, start reading and, and now work needs to work the same way. Yeah. It needs Absolutely. to just be naturally a part of what they do. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and I don't think that you know, the, the tolerance you know, I think, you know, again, I'm aging myself. Yeah. You know, our, our tolerance, I think, was more like we kind of said, okay, you know, we, we understand you need to figure this out. You need to figure out that I'm Carlos, not Charlie, or not Kirsty, and I'm a manager and not a, you know, tech support. And we understood that and we accepted that. I think it's come to the point now where, and we are like that now, it's like, why don't you know Yes. who I am, not, yeah. not individually, but at least profile-wise. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where it gets more frustrating from, and I mean, I experience it if I call somewhere, it's like, well, no, you should know. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, I think, start thinking to myself, this is the first time I've ever called. Yeah. You know, how would they know? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I still expect that. You do expect and that's a huge challenge on folks like yourself, yeah. 
to roll that out. You yeah. know, so, so what are the challenges that you see yeah. with your clients you know, to start bringing some of that you know, you know, personalized experience into it? Well, first of all, a customer needs to stop viewing these interactions as a ticket, right? Mm -hmm. so, if, if you're an employee, I don't want Charlie, to have, Charlie's it, lighting up over here. I don't want to have that ticket. <laughs> so if that doesn't actually help me. I don't feel good that incident 001 has been created for yeah. me. Because your ticket will be back in a few hours, <laughs> exactly, right? Exactly. Right, I'm going right. to feel good if you knew enough information about what it is I'm asking for, you're aware of what's going on within the organization, right. and mm -hmm. making sure that we um, have provided the right knowledge content and actually driven tier zero self-service, mm -hmm. actually driven yeah. um, providing the answer yeah. to the employee without them creating a ticket, and that's really the measure of success. And that's difficult for IT, because IT historically has KPIs and measurements around ticket volume, the amount of work done. Right. They're, not actually, they're not actually seeing the benefit yeah. of the fact that they didn't get a ticket at yeah. all. And yeah, it's, it it's changing yeah. that mentality within the but, but the metrics yeah. are all there. We're all set, right? We measure yeah. the metrics yes. and we, we got them and we're reporting them. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You mean it doesn't so actually all, make a difference good. in the end, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah you, exactly. want to, you want to know that you've deflected 50% of calls yes. that you were originally going to get. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I just I was thinking of the prisoner, you know, I am not a number. And it's like, no, my problem is not a number either. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but but that, was, that was part of the culture, right? Yeah. It was, and the, again, back to the way it was, that was satisfactory. When you get your ticket, yeah. you're like, great, you know what, someone's yeah. going to someone's start working on this. Right. Yeah. Now we've gotten to the point where it's like, I was expecting you to start working on this before I called. Yes. Yeah. You know, because you, you should have known about it. Yeah. You should have known that there was some pattern going mm -hmm. on. There was some uh, disruption in the network. There was some kind of thing going on. Mm -hmm. You should have known that this profile of users might have been impacted already yes. mm -hmm. with an answer almost prepared mm -hmm. as soon as I called. Yes, you know, yes, Mr. Casanova. Yes, Mr. Gore. Mm -hmm. We understand there's an issue in your region. We're on it. And you're like, yeah. wow, that'd be great, you know, to yes. call and, and know that. It may mean nothing in terms of getting it done faster, but the perception, yes. you know, becomes the reality there. So, uh, but yeah, I, I mean, it's a huge challenge I think for organizations like yourself to get the you know your clients yes. to start thinking really yeah. in that way yes. and not expect it tomorrow either. Yes. Right. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, we expect things instantly now, and, yes. that, and that's how we've brought up this generation now that they they do expect it's that instant gratification. Yes. You, you don't want to wait for, for your problem to be fixed. You expect that hopefully it's going to be fixed before you even yeah. so get a chance thing to we tell someone saying, about it. One thing we keep saying here is expectation mm. setting, right? Mm. So, mm. so even that's a big, a big mm. part of the change of the culture that, sure. that needs to take place. So yeah. we need to have the metrics as to how long it takes yeah. us to answer this. How, mm -hmm. Realistically, historically, how long will it take us to have this service back online? Yep. And set that expectation, because once again, you don't want someone sitting there six hours, seven yep. hours, when they thought it was something that would just be mm -hmm. fixed in 15 minutes. Right. Yep. Right. So providing right. that. It's really that mm -hmm. business viewpoint yeah. into all the services that are being provided. Mm -hmm. It also goes to show that you know there still isn't. It's still important to bear in mind the soft mm -hmm. skills and some of the what can, yes. are considered softer topics like mm -hmm. organizational change management, yeah. yes. like business analysis. Yep. You know, it's uh, you know how how is it that you understand the role mm -hmm. that a person has? It's not a technical conversation, mm -hmm. and yeah. you know there's a lot of emphasis on you know developers mm -hmm. and everybody should be a coder, and you know, and, and that's that's where there's a lot of value placed, but. Yeah, at the end of the day, if you don't understand things like culture and, and, yep. uh, and roles and responsibilities, mm -hmm. you know, how yep. are you ever going to get to that vision? Yep. Yeah. No, that's right. And it, that, yeah, that cultural change is such a, such a huge part of, of what we do. And, and unfortunately, some people in IT still tend to forget about that mm -hmm. right. and think they can take a, an IT change and throw it over the wall and, and why on earth would you not be happy with that? Yes. It does what you asked us to do. Yes. Right. But it, uh, so thank you, uh, Jeffrey, for mm -hmm. coming on. We really appreciate it, taking yeah. the time and thank you. wish you the best with, uh, with your clients. It's definitely going to be an interesting uh, year or two of mm. transformation into uh, this new digital experience. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you thank very you. much. Yeah. Thank Thanks. You. Pleasure thank to meet you. Thank you. Nice meeting you.